Greetings. I would like to go through with you uh, the process to upgrade your uh, Temenos Quantum Fabric Server to the HCL Volt MX uh, Foundry Server. Uh, to begin with, we already have our, our Temenos uh, Quantum Fabric Server up here running. Go ahead and log into this. Um, what I'll note to you is uh, I've got an application running, and, and all of your applications uh, should be running on the console and, and should be able to move over seamlessly. So uh, we have this one that's here currently running. So I'll go ahead and just log out of that server. You want to go to the HCL license and download portal and uh, go to the collaboration section. In the collaboration section, you should be able to find the HCL Volt Foundry version 9.2x. And from in this selection, um, you'll see a number of components here. Um, these two that are one and a half gigabytes uh, are your uh, the ones you'll want to go ahead and download. One ends in a zip and one in a tar gz. Uh, the zip has the Windows installable and the tar gz is for Linux. I have already uh, downloaded those uh, to my system um, and so we'll go ahead and just uh, let that sit there for just a moment. There's a couple of things that we need to make note of uh, prior to beginning installation. The first thing is we want to make sure that we have a, uh, an empty directory to install to. So I've created a D Voltimex Foundry. Um, the uh, other uh, thing that we want to note here is where we installed Fabric 2 uh, for Temenos Quantum. So I installed that to VD Voltimex Fabric. Inside this directory, we see a Quantum Fabric install log file. Um, if we open this log file up, we see that we have a a number of parameters and properties in here that uh, were denoted when we installed Fabric in the install panels initially. We want to go ahead and search for our database. Uh, I'm using a MySQL database and, and find what the prefix and suffix are for our uh, particular um, databases that we've installed. We want to make sure that we maintain the exact same names in the database so that our data does move over from the uh, uh, fabric server to the foundry server. Another way to get this information is to go to a command line client uh, of your database and, uh, and, and query that. So with MySQL I can do a show databases command and that will show uh, the databases that are there or, or, or list DB tables or uh, um, show DB directory depending on the databases that you have. Um, so you want to make sure that you get the databases. Uh, we see here that the uh, the prefix is quantum underscore and the suffix is underscore and some digits, uh, similar to what we found in our, our log file. Um, so you can either note that there and uh, set that aside for, for later or have your um, previous log file uh, up for you. Now, before we begin installation, we want to make sure that we stop the fabric service. So I'm running this on Tomcat. So in uh, my Tomcat bin, I'm going to go ahead and just run a, a shutdown to make sure that I have uh, stopped uh, the fabric service. Now that that's been done and I've noted those particular needed uh, pieces of information, I can go into my installer here and double click on this to start that up for us. The install anywhere shield will uh, extract its needed uh, files. Uh, to the OS and, and begin the installation panels. Right, so here we have our, our welcome screen from Volt MX uh, Foundry from HCL and we'll be presented here with these installation panels. Beginning with the introduction, something for you to go ahead and, and peruse to begin with uh, and then click next and review the license information. Uh, once you are finished reviewing that license information, go ahead and accept the terms of that agreement if you agree. I'm going to be uh, installing a type of development server. So uh, that's what I've selected there. That was my current installation. I'm going to uh, select and use all of the components uh, from, from Voltimex. This is where I'm going to install to my empty directory that I, I created in the beginning and that we denoted earlier on in this tutorial. 
So here in the D directory for Voltamex Foundry, we're going to be installing this to a Tomcat 9045 server. A bit of an upgrade from the previous version. Want to make sure that we choose the uh, correct protocol here. Um, I'm going to just install to HTTP, but you are welcome to use a secure socket layer if you wish to. I'm going to install directly to an IP address for my particular installation uh, using the same ports and the default shutdown port as well. The next panel here kind of denotes the uh, service name that will be into the Windows services. So you're going to be using an administrative user and password to control that service. This is the information we gathered in the beginning uh, for the database. Uh, so uh, my host and IP or IP, uh, the port number, the database user should be the same one that you used before. And then we want to make sure that we have the same prefix and suffix as talked about earlier on. So here is the prefix for that database. And then I'm going to also grab this particular suffix for uh, my database schema. You want to make sure that there is not a space at the end of the suffix or the prefix. Uh, spaces are not permitted inside of um, database schemas so you will get an error so you want to just double check that. You do want to use the same databases that you had before. That's where all of your previous fabric information is housed. We want to make sure we port that over to uh, Voltamex Foundry and, uh, and don't miss a step. So go ahead and choose yes. We want to make sure that we get all the encryption keys from the initial uh, fabric installation which is why we noted our initial fabric installation directory to begin with. So we'll go here to D, uh, Voltamex Fabric, which was our initial installation directory. Um, uh, and that's the root directory that we installed to make sure that that's the, uh, the one that you denote here. Go ahead and click Next. And we see a synopsis screen of everything that we have selected. Uh, if everything looks correct, go ahead and click Install. And the installation process um, should begin for you. The installation process should take a few minutes to complete, uh, so just be patient with it. When the installation does complete, you'll receive uh, this panel, congratulations, with a couple of pertinent URLs that you may want to jot down if you'd like to. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and click Done now. I'll minimize this one. Um, we'll go ahead and start the services just so that we can see that the Voltamex service is actually up and running. So looking down here, we see Voltamex Foundry is a running service, so that's a good thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back to our uh, initial browser, and we see Quantum Fabric Council. Well, that's not what it should be anymore. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the MF Console. And now we have turned to Volt MX Foundry Console. Uh, we still have some remnants here, so I'm going to go ahead and clear my browser cache. Go ahead and clear all that browsing data. And refresh this screen. And here we are at uh, HCL Volt MX. Go ahead and log in to make sure that we are running as we should. We should have the same applications as we did before, pointing at the same databases. All that data should be ported over from the Fabric to the now HCL uh, Voltamex Foundry server. And, and we do see that. Uh, we see the Fabric app that we had before. But we are not Fabric anymore, so just for fun, let's go ahead and rename this to Foundry Application. Uh, we see here we are running Volt MX, and, uh, and our apps are all here running as they should be. So we'll go ahead and uh, log out. And thank you for 
watching this uh, walkthrough of how to upgrade your Temnos Quantum uh, Fabric Server to Voltimex uh, Foundry, and I hope that this helps you in, uh, in your quest. Thank you.